Hey guys, Milrick77 here. First off, I want to apologize. I absolutely don't know how it happened, but I forgot to get a video of the Corvette before my family member took it back. Uh, all buffed out. That thing was shiny, let me tell you. Uh, very happy with that. Came out good for what it was. And uh, I totally forgot to take a fucking after video after it was washed and shit. But, on the flip side, I was going to go back to the Poconos this weekend because I was going to go to the flea market and uh, I was looking for a pack and play and I was going to get a, uh, I was looking for a bouncer chair a specific kind of bouncer chair and I was gonna go to my buddy's house because he has uh, he had a log splitter he was gonna sell me for uh, a couple hundred bucks but uh, it's been sitting for a while and it needed work I know it needed new front packings on the uh, hydraulic cylinder and uh, I had a Briggs motor on it but it hasn't been run in about three years and it's been sitting under a tarp outside so uh, yeah I was gonna go back I was gonna get that I was going to look for some stuff at the flea market, but I decided yesterday morning, Friday morning, to go out and go to a few yard sales with the baby, because I was bored, and uh, I found everything I needed right here. I found a really nice pack and play, and uh, I found a really nice, like brand new, not even fucking used, uh, bouncer chair, but to top it all off. I got me a log splitter. <clears throat> Homemade jobby. It's got a 11 horsepower Greyhound motor on it. Overhead valves. Uh, electric start. That's never been hooked up. I just hooked it hooked it up to see if it works. Electric start works good on her. Uh, pull start, it'll start with one pull, no problem. Homemade jobber, they just got the pump hooked up to the back of the fucking motor there. And uh, they got this cylinder. They got it hooked up back there with a pin, and then it's just floating on this, and that's curved up and around, and it slides back and forth on this I beam. And uh, they have this here. I don't know if that's for safety or what the fuck that is. It's just a strap. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make a block that fits under there. And I'm going to get a U-bolt. And I'm going to put rubber under the U-bolt. And I'm going to bolt down the front of that cylinder. Because I don't like this cobbled mess right here. So I'm going to redo that. This hose right here is just seeping little bits of oil you can see the drop of the oil right there uh just seeping little bits of oil so i'm gonna go to, go to napa and have them make me a new hose and while i'm at it while i'm at it i'm gonna have them uh shorten the hoses because those hoses don't need to be that long this one goes all the way out and around this one goes all the way up down and then all the way back to the back of the cylinder and it's just silly it should just fucking go right back and right back so uh, I'm gonna have them shorten them up and whatnot this valve does not have automatic reverse which I kinda don't like but the valve works so I'm not gonna go and spend a hundred dollars on a valve just so I can have automatic reverse maybe someday I'll find one really cheap uh, the other thing I'm gonna be doing too is at least on this side I'd like to do it on both sides 
I'm going to build some type of a table here that is removable. That way when I pick up a big log I don't have to hold it in mid-air as I'm splitting little pieces off the side. I can have the table support the weight of the log and it'll make it a little bit more safer to use because you got to hold the log with one hand when it's a big round and then balance it on like your knee and your hand and then hold that down and split it and then you got to take the big log and set it on the ground go all the way back pick it back up put it up there if I have a tabletop here I can just split and let it fall off the one side but I'd like to put a table on both sides actually and then just throw them on the pile but uh, it also came with this really sweet ass stand someone made and at the top of it they welded a ball so it actually sits on the ball and then you can lock it so no one can fucking just hook up to it and go they'd have to fucking get that lock off to hook their trailer back up to it or else they'd be dragging that so that's kind of cool it's got the nice tow chains here to hook up to whatever but they're logging chains and they never fucking work you need a regular chain hook so I'll probably change those out but you know this thing is fucking pretty nice considering what it is and uh, a couple little modifications like that u-bolt and then making a tabletop and a couple new hoses and this sound bitch will be really good <clears throat> uh, I'll use it like that all this year and then this winter when I get really slow and I got shit to do I'll uh, I'll have all the parts I need I'll just make it the way I want it for sure but I'll make it functional to get me through this year once I get all my wood split you know but uh they wanted four hundred dollars for this at this yard sale I shit you not they wanted four hundred dollars <clears throat> which isn't a bad price because shitty log splitters are selling around here for like six seven hundred and up like honestly and those are like shitty log splitters that really need work and this will start right up and split uh wanted four hundred dollars and uh there was three ladies there running the yard sale and uh i was looking it over and i'm like does this thing start up and run does it work or what's the story behind it she goes i don't know they're all looking at me they're like what even it what is that thing my husband put it here, I don't even know what that is. Like, are you serious? Like, there's a log splitter. Oh, a wood splitter, huh? That's what it is. <sighs> so, uh, I'm like, these ladies don't know what the hell they got here. I was like, let me see. So I was like, so is the price set in stone? And, uh, <clears throat> they're like, they're looking at me, they're like, well, she goes, I don't know, my husband wrote down on a piece of paper, I don't know what he did with it, how low, the, the lowest price he would go on it. And uh, she's looking around, she can't find the paper. I'm like, well, I don't want to insult anybody. I'm like, but uh, I got $250 cash in my pocket. And she's like, thank you. She's like, hmm, can't find that paper. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, cha-ching, got this son of a bitch. 250 bucks. I gave her 200 I went back to the house, grabbed my truck gave her the other 50 hooked up to it and that was that so I got this log splitter at a steal if you ask me for 250 bucks uh, I think her husband's gonna be a little upset with her but uh, you got a wheel and deal we can wheel and deal uh, that's all there is to it but uh, that's what I had to show you I'm really sorry that uh, I did not take a video of the Corvette I, I really feel bad about that because that thing came out really shiny and uh, the guy loved it. <clears throat> My family member there, he's the, uh, he's the vice president for a uh, Corvette club around here and uh, he fucking loved it. From, it was like day and night. I mean the car has its, has its flaws, you know what I mean? Someone repainted it before and they did a really shitty job. And it looks like they let it rain on the car before the clear was totally dry or something. And like there's spots all in it. And whoever painted it was so lazy that uh, they couldn't even fold the top up when they painted it. They painted around the fucking top. They masked it off and painted it. And the clear was like yellow underneath the top. And I buffed and buffed and buffed. I even tried wet sanding it. And I just I could not get the clear to become clear again. So, I mean, it doesn't look horrible when you put the top down, but there was so much dirt shit in there, I don't even think that he takes the top down. But, uh, it had its flaws, chips and dings and scratches, but boy, she came out shiny. 
and that spoiler was nice and flat so he was happy and uh, I'm just out here putzing around with this thing Sean's gonna come over later maybe I'll son of a bitch him a little bit I don't know but uh, I'll talk to you guys later so guys we're out in the garage with the shit fuck and we're back in high school again there's a little bit for James Freddy but anyway We've been out here fucking around with the splitter, and uh, I took that half-ass retard strap thing off of it, and I got me a U-bolt, and the U-bolt wasn't long enough, so I welded thread all to it, and I got her bolted there. That is what supports it downward, and then as it goes up, it hits the U-bolt, and I got it on a piece of rubber. Sean's, Sean's got a fucking log, and uh, I also welded a weld there for a stop when this goes back, because where it was stopping was on that bolt right there. It was hitting the bolt and stopping, so I made welds to prevent that, and I built this shelf here. I just used plywood I had laying around. I really don't want to use OSB. I'm gonna get me some real plywood. But uh I got me a piece of three quarter inch angle iron and I fucking welded it to the machine. Three supports, an angle piece, and that's my shelf, my new one, and uh smash this piece of fucking plywood in there. And uh, it's good to go. Sean, hold this camera a minute. Oh, oh, hell. Don't cover the microphone with your finger. But look. Where's that? This moves because it's on that ball. Look. Right here, man. See my hand? Yeah. This will move because it's on that ball right there. But it'll hold a fat motherfucker. <laughs> it'll hold a fat motherfucker on the fucking shelf that we just built. Yeah. So it'll hold the fucking log. But uh, let's get her started up and split a piece of wood. She's out of gas, guys. <laughs> that was uh, up here. That was all the fucking gas. That was mixed gas, too. Because when I bought this cocksucker, it had really, really stale old gas in it. And from the drive over here, bud, it was fucking bouncing down the fucking road. That sounds bitch weird. And when I went to go split with it, it actually clogged up the fucking carburetor. I had to clean the carb. But, uh, so... That's the last of my gas in there. But she works. Fucking A, that's a cherry. There's a couple of knots in there. A couple of knots in there. And she fucking split right through it. So. Yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. And the shelf's working. It's holding my fucking log. Since this doesn't have uh, automatic reverse, I need something to hold the log for me while I hold the lever. And that's perfect. And that'll hold the big log. Yeah. I held my fat ass and I was bouncing on it too. But uh we're gonna get back to high school. Yeah. Gurgle bud. And uh that's that. Rat a tat tat. <laughs> yeah guys, so I'm sure a few of you are wondering why the fuck did he buy a splitter? I thought he fucking built one. But uh I did I did build one, you guys watched it and saw it, and I'll be the first to tell you that the weak point is that fucking axle being a three quarter inch shaft. Uh, you put a bit, and the belt, the belt fucking slips. 
uh, it really needs to be like chain driven so it doesn't the belt doesn't fucking slip when it goes into a big log uh, you put a big log on that son of a bitch and uh, the fucking belt starts slipping and it stops midway and it gets so much torque on it before the belt starts to slip that it actually raises up the point and rotates the log and then by the time you put it in reverse and back the screw out of it uh, first of all the tip is replaceable and it's reverse thread so when you reverse it out of the log the tip stays in the log then you gotta fucking do some surgery with a chainsaw to work the tip out of the log <clears throat> and uh... yeah so the stickler really would work fine if it was on like a one inch or bigger hardened shaft and it was chain driven uh... cause that motor's got quite a bit of torque it would work if it was that way, direct drive, but uh, I mean, worst case scenario, the engine would just stall, but uh, or it'll work on the truck the way it was designed for. So that's why I fucking got a splitter because it was more efficient and whatnot. And you know, I built the splitter, it was a fun project. I was bored, I did it with shit I had laying around. You fucking, you don't know what you get until you're fucking done with something. At least I did something constructive, you know what I mean didn't just sit around and waste my time I tried building something but uh yeah that's the story behind that so, so you guys saw it I got it together and working and that's a good thing so I'll turn you guys on when something interesting happens hey also I almost forgot there I uh, went to yard sales today with my wife I almost forgot that I found this uh, I got a valet remote start system. Oh yeah. Brand new. Never installed. You guys know how it goes with these things. People buy them for people for presents or people buy them for themselves. And then when they start reading the instructions and looking at all these wires, they're like, oh fuck, I'm not going to be able to do this. But, um, all brand new wires, never been spliced into. It's got all the uh, bits and pieces that it's supposed to have. It's even still got the warning stickers and uh, all this bullshit. But uh, yeah, remote starter system, five bucks. Uh, can't beat that. I figure I'll probably try to install this in the old lady's car. That way in the winter time she can just push a button in the kitchen and her car fires up and she doesn't have to sit outside because she's uh she's not one to let the vehicle warm up. <clears throat> uh she likes to start it and go. And her excuse is she doesn't want to sit in the vehicle and wait. So now she can start it while she's eating her breakfast and uh that'll be good. But five bucks, look at that shit. That's sweet. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, hell yeah. So I figured I'd show that to you guys. And here's that uh, motorcycle back battery. I think it's a motorcycle or something. C volt. I don't know. Either it's either a motorcycle battery or a jet ski battery. I can't remember where it came from. But I got it on the charger right now, and that'll be my new log splitter battery. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later for real this time. <laughs>